that is her own case. Now, as I said earlier, we we'll stop at the features or characteristics of society as between law and order. We will continue from here. We have little things to do today, but we have many things to do. Why is it little and many is it? I'm going to give you freedom, privilege to ask questions while I finish my own part of the work quickly. I should be assessing your CBT on Monday. Let's see how, let me know where you may be having little or one challenges, one of the other challenges, so that I can sort them out for you. We have crashed out this, and uh, I believe that if you have already been acquainted with the characteristic of society as between law and order, you should not have problem with the importance of law and order. Yes, you should not have problem with the importance of law and order. Knowing the characteristic, you have already known the importance. And I will sample your opinion. Based on your understanding of the characteristics of society as busy law and order. So it's nice to have listened to reason and tell me the benefits or advantages or significance of law and order in the society. Now that now I won't volunteer to tell me what. Uh, some of the importance we derive from law and others. Please, who is using Nokia 3.2? Kindly rename yourself. Okay, some hands are up. Running. You raise your hand, your video is not on, and I will not recognize you. Send your message, your video is not on, I will not read your message. Yes, Rooney. Yes, sir. Um, sir, one of the importance is that it promotes justice and inequity in the society. Eh? Can you recap? Sir? Recap. Repeat the statement again. It promotes justice and inequity in the society. <laughs> it's not iniquity, it's equity. Equity. <laughs> so that's what I had. You are making you to laugh at you now. <laughs> that is exactly what I had as I said you should repeat that statement. <laughs> okay? Law and order promote um, justice and equity in society. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> uh, check your statements and the rice ready case of next time. You know, where we have law and order, just as I've said, there will be equity, fairness, and justice. In that regard, you'll we'll be assured that nobody will be treated uh, abnormally. Nobody will be treated with uh, any kind of uh, uh, abysmal uh, treatment. People will be treated fairly, and everybody in society will enjoy or benefit from that. Justice will be given or meted out to people based on the, uh, as, as is required, stated by the Constitution and the norms and convention of the society. Okay. Where is this nice coming from? I just could have raised their hand. A motor show. Yes. It promotes peace and orderliness in society. It promotes peace and orderliness in the society. Thank you very much. Of course, we have one of the characteristics of a law and order as peaceful coexistence. Therefore, any society exhibiting law and order 
is going to have what we call peace and order as important beneficial from that. Uh, we said it enables the society to be united. Okay. <laughs> David, thank you very much. That is, it ensures unity in the society. Law and order ensure unity in society. That is from David. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, let me see. She, you have not said anything. Don't be a pussy. You were laughing at Rooney that time. Let me laugh at you now. So they have said what I wanted to say. No, there are many. I said something. I said, if you already know the characteristic, uh, Saddam, you are recognized, I will, I will call you. I said, if you already know the characteristics of uh, a society, as long as order, you've already known the importance. So you can't tell they have already said what you wanted to say. I will put those are you. Yeah, tell me. What? <laughs> I'm still with you, she. Um, there is decorum and other leaders. It ensures decorum and other leaders. Okay, it ensures decorum and other leaders. Okay, okay. Okay, please. Let me, <coughs> let me listen to Adam. It ensures the conduct of free and fair election. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. In a society where there's law and order, one of the importance that we drive is that it ensures the conduct of free and fair election. Election will be conducted in the, in the fairest, credible manner. Election will not be rigged. People vote will be counted. And people will be able to determine who govern them and able to change who they don't want to govern them at the, at the right time. So that's one of the importance derived from law and order in many societies. Yeah. Who is here? Who is, who is here? What is wrong with you, Joshua? Is there anything wrong with your spinal cord that uh, anytime you come to class, you lie down? <laughs> Don't forget that your friends are looking at you at home. They will make jest of you. So some of you, you deliberately turn off your video so that I will not ask you a ask your question. No worry, there's no problem. Your own time will come, you ask me a question. If you turn off your video when you want to ask me a question, your question will be rejected. You know me that I'm a man of my word. Give me instruction when you come to my class, set to do whatever you like, no problem. Okay. Read this. Oh, your camera is faulty. I've had you. All right. Having said uh, that, uh, these are orders. Please, I don't work, don't send unnecessary messages. I've not read them. distract me to unnecessary messages. If it is time for you to yeah, your camera, I have explained that to some students before. When they're in class, their camera will not work. When they are out of the class, the camera will work. So that will not make me to believe some of you that actually have genuine cases. Jessica, don't do it to me. I'm hungry. Don't do it to me. You come late to my class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. The uh, majority of you have actually said some of the points that are derived from uh, the society's beating law and order. These are other importance. 
Okay, law and order promote this new coexistence, as some, somebody just said. For those of you that arrived in class late, I said once you know the characteristics of the society is between law and order, you have already known the importance of law and order. Okay. Okay, and please let me quickly say this because I may forget. You may come across a question like this that how can law and order be ensured in the society? Mm -hmm. Let me hear from people now. You may come across questions like this. How can law and order be ensured in the society? My number one, uh, number one person I will recognize is to my friend that is lying down. Uh, he's thank God he even raised his hand self. Like our spirit is working together. Yeah. You have the floor, Joshua. How can law and order be ensured in society? There are two constitutions now. Mm. I said something the other day. Somebody said something I had quickly corrected. This. If you have constitution and the function is not to be, would that ensure law and order? You sure you have not answered my question. No. If you have a constitution and the constitution is not strictly adhered to, would that ensure law and order? Okay, it seems you are still thinking. Let me listen to order that is raised your hand. Where is your Kimba? Kimba, where are you? Okay, you turn, you turn off your video. That's good. Okay. Yes, we will send a message. A strict adherence to the law. That is from Timidri. Thank you very much. One of the ways law and order can be ensured in society is through strict adherence to the provisions of the law, not just the constitution alone. If you have the constitution, people don't obey the constitution, then it becomes useless. Yeah? Thank you, Timidri. When there's strict adherence to the provisions of the constitution, law and order will be ensured in society. Jessica. Tell me one way law and order can be ensured in society. Basically, I see your method that is creating all you are the one that is technically work on the. No, sir. Yes. Um, um bye. Very use are regulated. Very use are regulated. That is ambiguous. I agree with you, but the statement is ambiguous. Okay. But, oh, oh, thank you. Now that I see it now. Yes? Omoto, what you know. said, if you are with me, you should know. Omoto said, the word you sent to me it was what uh, Timidri said. Look at another point. It's not just about, by, when you say rules and regulations, it's, it's ambiguous in the sense that there are many rules and regulations. Uh, somebody said something like that, and that strict adherence to the provisions of the Constitution. You see, that one is specific. This time. Aside the Constitution, there are other rules and regulations that govern the society. Are you, are, you to, are you trying to tell me the traffic rules and regulations? Eh, of which one are you referring to? So you shouldn't be ambiguous when you are giving your point. Give a point that is expressly, uh, explicitly understood. Okay. You can tell me that by strict adherence to the traffic regulation, we ensure law and order in the society. Okay. Where people follow the rules and regulation that governs uh, the road. Okay. Or the road yourself. When you, as a pedestrian, you make use of the uh, what do you call pedestrian bridges or always cross where there's a zebra crossing? It will prevent a breakdown of law and order or any form of accidents. Okay, and if you always queue up, some of you, some of you, it's ability to reason, hmm? ability to reason. The what, the question I ask you is actually embedded in the characteristics. Okay, the question I ask you is actually embedded in the. Characteristics, yeah. 
by ensuring that you queue up either at any public gathering, maybe at the ATM point or during election, to ensure law and order in the society. And as a matter of fact, if transparency and accountability is promoted in the government, it will ensure law and order in the society. Okay? So this is just common sense. It's not a difficult question, but something you can come across. And the way I've just asked you now, if you have come across it now, it becomes an issue. It shows that you have you don't have a grasp understanding of how to ensure law and order in society. Look at the the, 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 the characteristics. You will get the ways. How do you get justice? Through independent of judiciary. If there is independent of judiciary, law and order will be what? Ensure because there will be justice and fairness. Okay. So I don't have that as a subject here, but I have trashed something that is very important for some of you you find difficult uh, tomorrow. Enforcement of law and order will ensure law and order in society. Thank you, Motosho. Okay. I think we are done with the importance of law and order. So far, so good. We have looked at the meaning of law and order. We have also looked at the relationship that exists between law and orderliness. We have as well dissect, take the characteristics of any society as between law and order, as well as importance of law and order. And added to it was the last question I asked that how can law and order be ensured in the society? And I have given you insights on how to do that. That if you know the characteristics, what are those things that promote the characteristics in the question? Whatever that will ensure the characteristics I've mentioned, these, these are the ways of promoting law and order in the society. Somebody said freedom of the press. Fine, freedom of press can ensure law and order at the same time can also cause a kind of problem because if you publish a news you're not supposed to publish at times, that can also cause problems in the society. Please take note of that. All right, that is all for this. Uh, I thank you all for your audience. Just as I said at the beginning of this uh, class, it is time for me to give you room to ask questions as you'll be writing your a kind of uh, at the aptitude test come Monday, the test, how far you have learned, what will you do that? You know, assessment is part of learning. So, please, I will enjoy you to ask me a question. It does not matter that it has to be on the topic of the day alone. Any area you are confused or you need to know about something you don't understand very well, feel free to ask me a question. Thank you very much once again for your audience and decorum. God bless you. And in advance, do enjoy your weekend. Because I know some part time, thank God this weekend. People like Ogun uh, Esho. Uh, uh, somebody like uh, Kimba, Jessica, Ronnie, they are looking for a great weekend. Omoto show you, I sure I trust you. Looking for a great weekend where they can. Where is Olaji Moke here? Because I know Olaji Moke like weekend very well. But see, you come late to my class today. Divan, you come late to my class today. Okay. Divan does not like weekend very well. Divine, do you? <laughs> okay. 
I know this is a live weekend very well here. Ah, if we no more, if we no more, precious. Two of you, the day I will punish you. You come to my class and you will want to be passive. Every privilege given to you for you to do something, you don't want to do it. There's no problem. No problem. Around you, you are also in that campus. Moment, that is your attributes. No problem. No worry. It's at your, everything you are doing is at your own detriment if you don't know. Odela Day, it is time for question. It is time okay, for sir. question. So I throw the floor open now for you people to ask me questions. It doesn't have to do with today's topic alone. Okay? In any area you think that uh, you need clarification on certain things, ask me a question. Raise your hand, I will take your question. Thank you. No question. Oh, don't worry, you will enjoy me very well on okay brian said no question thank you thank you you enjoy me very well on one day if you write your civic is on one day no problem you enjoy me very well there's no problem yes i'm going to assess you critically i want to know the levels how you are so that coronavirus wouldn't have what Tell your civic break. <laughs> All right. 